It's been an amazing event to have our ear to the ground and actually hear what's happening out in the industry. To take the time for people to come together, network, have a conversation. It's really important for us to listen in and broker some more collaborations and opportunities to work with others. There's so many people in the room today who I've never met before, would have never had the opportunity to meet. We got to share our experiences and I'm sure there's a whole bunch of new ideas and projects that are going to come out of today, so great opportunity. This has been a fantastic learning opportunity for me. Uh, I was really excited to come along today and meet some industry leaders and experts who really are working at the, the forefront of trying to solve these problems around waste in sport. I think within sport and you know, from a sustainability perspective, you know, the question is, Whatever we're using on, on a field, in training, what's happening with it at the end of life? We question what happened to Aussie rules, football players, items after they played a game. The opportunity to collect and recycle those items is just absolutely enormous. That's all the way down to the grassroots. We're moving a little bit more away from just thinking about recycled materials now and more and more around how can we redesign and think about the higher order strategies of, of a circular economy. So to think about design as sort of top of mind has been really interesting. I can tell you from my boy's soccer top, he's wearing that one year and the next year sponsors are changing and so is his number. Is the sporting club, the code, taking responsibility for the products that they've essentially made you buy? We did a mini hack on cricket gear and the interesting thing is there's so much tradition in how we play cricket and no doubt many, many other sports and maybe questioning some of those to say can we make some changes in how we play our games to make them more sustainable without destroying the game itself obviously. I think the mini hack was one of my favourite parts because everyone was actually able to think and dissect each item and have a conversation about where it goes and what it exists for. I think we have a, a big responsibility as a cultural institution in Australia, the AFL and the broader sporting community to take a leadership position and, and think about you know, our impact on, on the planet. So you know, it was really great to be here today and see so many leaders who are at the forefront of that change.